Fancy intro music, yeah! Woo! So before we get too far into this new video, we're just gonna say, this was terrible. This event is bad, and you should feel bad, Scopely. Stop screwing the small players! Stop it! Completely got awful. There's not a saving grace about it. It's bad. There's some good things in this patch, 100%. Not denying it. I love the brand new ship skins. We can call them refits, even though they aren't refits at all. They're just skins because a refit would be the same ship, then modified, not. Anyway, Planet Killer SMS was absolutely terrible. Now, I am going to give you a crew to complete it if they force us to go through this monstrosity again. But the entire idea of literally blowing through Tritanium, making you die a lot, this is the most backwards... I really want to say things that I shouldn't say on YouTube. Let's just say this. Stop doing these type of events. I know it's new. It's okay to try new things, but this is not a good idea. This is bad. And even if you have an optimal crew loadout with an optimal style ship, you will still go through several hull healths before you can even complete this. Why? Because it's based on damage done to the ship. It's not based on, you know, you dealing damage, which makes sense. It's based on you dying. So you actually have to take the 13.7 million damage, in my case, at level 39. Well, when life gives you lemons. And the reason this is so painful is, yes, you're getting eight character shards, which that's great, but it's the Neutronium. It's what we need to go through the event store. It's the most precious resource in the Star Trek Fleet Command galaxy. And it's almost like it's being purposely withheld. You cannot make a, a decent progression with this event. Now, let me just kind of break down more of how it works. There are the Doomsday Armadas, which haven't actually started yet. I'm making this video basically as a recap of day one of the brand new TOS arc, part three. So we had to go through the Doomsday Hostiles and receiving damage from said Hostiles. Keep in mind, if we do the Armadas, yes, you get more points, but you're less likely to get hit in an Armada. Armadas are fine, but it's not really going to help you out. You were limited to certain ship types, which was also extremely curious because not everybody has all the ship types. For example, if you're level 32, many of you have chosen to skip the Burrell, the Gladius, the Intrepid, because as many of the higher levels, myself or even the, the whales up high have told you, those ships simply aren't worth investing in, go for the 34s. Yet this event punished you because you could only do it with certain ships. That makes no sense. It, th this game was designed early on where they said, we want you to pick a faction and go through that ship line. Well, look, people are going to pick what they feel is the best ships to use, which is not every ship in the game. So limiting it to the ships hurts players. And then you get to the simple fact of it's expensive to do. Here's my inbox with my battle logs in them. You see all these doomsday worms? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six beautiful worms that I had to go through. And that's after I figured out the perfect strategy. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but you destroy... Six tier eight or tier nine epic ships. And if you're in that level range, that's going to be expensive. I spent over 5 million Tritanium. There are others who spent way more who are in a worse predicament than I am. Let's talk about strategy. What can you do to actually win and put points in this event? This player. Oh, wait, you mean that guy that I had to buy for $20 that Rev Deuce mentioned a couple months ago? Yep. This is the only reason I was able to finish it so quickly because I used Leslie Pike Moreau. This simply giving me a, I'll show you, 15% hull regeneration every time uh, the round ends. This helped uh, you know, prolong the battles. I also tried this on the Enterprise using Leslie Pike Kirk. What I found was that it's better for me to get my shields down and take that damage directly than to use the shields up. Because if we go back to the event, and woo Nelly, this is just... And I'm not trying to be mean to Scope, but there's been so much they've done right. I've also got to go quickly finish this before this ends for the day. I, I do like some of the stuff they've done. You see I'm ranked 35 here in the Planet Killer SLB because I'm not. It's literally a 
contest for who wants to waste the most tritanium? Quick answer, not this guy. Nope. Why would I want to literally waste my resources to win an event? Maybe if I was spending to upgrade to get better, it makes sense. This is literally saying, hey, we need to just go blow up and die as much as humanly possible. It's even got spend on repairs. It's just, I don't understand. And then you can be like my buddy, no one shall, who didn't even read it. And he thought that you were getting the ISS jelly constellation skin. Nope. It's just an avatar and some neutronium. That's all. It, like I wouldn't see the purpose of even going through that leaderboard unless you just really love avatars, which most of you don't. But yeah, let's go back to this. This required you to take damage in certain systems. And I just, I'm at a loss. I don't understand how this event even got thought up as a, this is beneficial to the team. This is beneficial to the, you know, the gameplay and everybody can grow with this. This is literally throwing ships down the drain in an effort to win an event. And that, that's just counterintuitive. I mean, every event we do, like when we grind hostiles, for example, like I put up, you know, Talon, I'm actually going to put up, you know, our chin here. Where's chin? Sorry, wrong one. We'll put chin here. Here's our anti-hostile crew. This makes sense because I'm going to win. I'm going to get to try to survive as long as I can to collect more boxes, ship experience. It makes sense for me to do this grind and it take more hits because I'm actually doing something productive. Faction hunt makes sense because I'm grinding for the rewards and I'm not always dead at the end. This basically guarantees you die no matter what. And there's no other grind in this game hostile wise that I've done that requires me to die with an Enterprise or an Augur six, seven times. It, it doesn't happen. It doesn't exist. As I try to rush up to Wolf real quick to finish my, I gotta finish my stuff. I, I was so frustrated with the event and I was talking to other people, different servers, that I literally just didn't complete my dailies and everything yesterday. I just stopped. I figured out what this event was. I talked to tons of people. And I'll admit, I've already started to talk to some of the devs. In fact, I went to one in particular. I'm like, yo, who's in charge of this event? I need to have a one-on-one. -on -one. And I didn't do it in a rude way. And I want to provide feedback. And I want to provide your feedback. In fact, if you're watching this video, you need to be putting your feedback to this style of event down in the comment section below. You need to be telling me exactly what you think. Was it good? Was it bad? I already know the answer, but I need you to tell me so that I can show it to the dev team so we can have that and be able to put forth in front of them, look, the fans, the players do not like this. To do that, like I said, you've got to be a part. You've got to provide that for us. And right now, <sighs> there's really not much else to say. I just feel like overall, this has been a failure of an experimental event, and it's fine to try new things. This event is bad, and you should feel bad, Scopely. Stop screwing the small players! Stop it! And, you know, there was comments by some of the Live Ops team on Discord about how they'll have to make changes in the future, how some things are already implemented. And I understand that, look, they're not going to take the event away for the next couple of days. If it happens in the next couple of days because it was planned, it's going to still happen. We can live through that as long as it doesn't come back. We can't have this again. It was no, no, bad scopely. I even drug out this. My ship shouldn't look like this to win an event. No. Now, it should look like this because you should add the next generation. If you want to know what next generation looks like, this is from the 90s. Old school, nostalgia, beautiful, the best of the best. But seriously, we can't have these type of events that are literally based on who has the most resources to waste. At least make it into something productive. When we're doing domination and upgrading researches and stuff, we're putting forth resources into something productive. Having to make a player destroy six or 16 hulls, because not everybody has the crew loadouts I do and the ships I do, to win an event, simply so they can go to an event store and get officers that are locked behind paywalls and stuff. Yeah, that's just simply not okay. So that's my thoughts. I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, live long and prosper. Remember, Spock doesn't go on the Enterprise. Live long and prosper. All the best.
an even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.